Hi, my name is Alvin Alexander, and this is a short introduction to the Simple Build Tool, or SBT. SBT is a build tool for Scala projects, just like Ant and Maven are build tools for Java projects. Like Maven, SBT uses a convention over configuration approach and can be used to handle both managed and unmanaged dependencies. SBT doesn't have a tool for creating directory structures, so I created a little script named SBT MakeDirs that stubs out the basic directories for me. When using SBT MakeDirs, I just give it a project name, and I'll call this one hello, and then it prompts me for a couple of questions for uh, use with GitHub, and I'll just kind of ignore those right now, but it creates the git ignore and a readme file. So what that just did was created a hello directory for me, and so next I'll move into that directory and we'll take a look at what's inside of it. A good way to look at the SBT directory structure is with the tree command, so I'll use that here. The build.sbt file is the most important project file. You use it to specify your managed dependencies and other project settings. You can also place regular jar files in the lib folder, and SBT will find them automatically. Your Scala and Java source code and test files go under the SRC folder. Let's take a quick look at a basic build.sbt file. You specify settings in build.sbt using key value pairs. So these first three lines specify settings called name, version, and scala version. For the purposes of this example, the resolvers and library dependencies lines that follow aren't needed, but you will at least need the library dependencies of more complicated projects, if not resolvers. And on the last line, I always like to set the deprecation option so I can see what code might be deprecated. As you can see, this file is pretty straightforward. I want to interrupt this planned video for just a few moments and just to make something really clear. You don't need a build.sbt file for very simple SBT projects. You can just create the directory structure, uh, then run your SBT compile and run commands without even having a build.sbt file. However, in the real world, you're going to have a build.sbt file like the one I showed or like the one I'm showing here. Uh, but I just want to be clear that for very simple projects, you don't really need one. And now back to the video. The next thing I'd like to do to show how this works is just create a little Hello World program. And you can do that uh, right here in the root directory of the project. You don't have to do it under source main Scala. Uh, so I'll go ahead and create a hello.scala file and then just include a little source code. Once you have a source code file like that, you can do different things with it with SPT. Uh, first thing here I'll show is how to compile it. And you do that with the SPT compile command. I'm running this on an old Mac, so I'll just skip forward and show you that it took eight seconds to compile that file. Next up, you can run an application using the SPT run command, and that's what I'll do here. And you can see that that ran with the um, hello world output right here. That's not too exciting, but I promise it gets better when you're running your own applications. SPT has a wealth of commands, and another common one is the package command. And you use this command, SPT package, to uh, create a jar file from your source code. And that's what I just did there. Once you have a jar file, you can run it directly with the Scala command, like this. You can keep running SBT commands from your operating system command line as I've shown there, or you can enter the SBT shell as I'm doing here and then run your commands from there. So what I'm doing here is I just enter the SBT shell and now I'll run the run command from there. Going back to the operating system command line for just a moment, it wasn't necessary for me to run the compile command before the run command. I could have just run the run command and it would have done the compiling first. Uh, the other thing I want to show here is that you can execute several commands at a time. So here I'm running SPT clean run. So I'm cleaning my project first and then running it. And as you see, I don't have to issue the compile command for it to work. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction to the simple build tool, or SBT. You can find more information on SBT at the scala-sbt.org website. As for me, my name is Alvin Alexander. I wrote the Scala cookbook 
and I hope you enjoyed this short SBT tutorial.